So here comes 25-year-old senior quarterback from Pocatello, Idaho, Taysom Hill. Very solidly put together 232-pounder. 4,338 passing yards and number one all-time rushing among BYU quarterbacks. Season-ending leg injuries in 2012 and again in Game 5 last year against Utah State. They were 4-0, ranked number 18 in the country. There was talk they might even run the table and he would be a Heisman candidate. But then he injured his leg. They finished 8-5. and five. Out of the gun to start the season. And throws for a completion and a first down to for the Cornhuskers. 93, but warmer than that on the field with high humidity. On the field turf, Hill throws, drop. Taron Hop. It's a nice job right here of number 67, Kyle Johnson, allowing Taysom Hill the pocket to throw the football. And you see the confidence in the... They fake the inside handoff, and on target is Hill for another first down to midfield. How loss of two on the last play. Four-man rush. Well blocked, but now Hill's running out of time, and he's sacked. That it starts with the inside pressure right here. They collapse the pocket, and Taysom Hill likes to normally scramble to his left, and Akamoladun does the Cougars at their own 46. Adam Hine in as the running back. Open receiver, diving catch made by Kurt Henderson. They rule it a catch. Chips. Taysom Hill throwing deep on the first play of this drive and incomplete. In the Third down and ten. They bring a blitz again. Hill on target. Was he in bounds? No. The officials took it. One thing you'll see here is the break by Joshua Kalua. Long and lanky. And it looks like from that angle, out, out of bounds, bounds. Clearly, first foot down out. They didn't have an angle to overturn it, so they marked the ball instead of the one. BYU out of its own end zone very quickly, and a big play to Taron Hauk because of his history of injuries. They know the key to their season is to keep him healthy. He throws a deep ball to an open receiver. Nick Kurtz the catch. Deep into Nebraska territory for the junior Nick Kurtz. Set up a little bit. And if safety sucked up a little bit on the quarterback draw, then you see him, when you're defined by your coach as the toughest, strongest, kindest guy, you'll take a hit to deliver the strike to Kurtz. And standing right behind him, probably 20 yards behind him, he saw what a thought. Staring down the gun barrel. He is so tough at that quarterback position. Hill dodges the rush, takes off running, and dives ahead to the seven. Hill got five. Play fake and a good one. Throws to the corner of the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for Kurtz. Pass interference. Defense number 23. Ball occurred in the end zone. 15 yards. Year that BYU had a foot injury, did not play. Hill, that is a design run for the quarterback, and it's a touchdown. Taysom to go 99 yards. And a touchdown for Taysom Hill. And he'll be confident throwing the ball down the field. Taysom Hill trying to respond quickly. These two teams moving. BYU ball down by a touchdown. Second and two. Taysom Hill throws to Colby Pearson for a first down. He weaved his way to the backer even without... The suspension to Michael Rose Ivy. Hill going deep. Looking for Matthews. Trying to run under it. Some late contact with Kalu. Lyman and really not a factor. Hill, as you might expect, gets away. And now throws it away. Just shy of the line of scrimmage with Josh Ben. The black shirts of Mark Banker, the defensive coordinator, not biting inside. We see Jack Gangwish. Force him out, then Banderas coming for second contain, forcing the throw away. Down and 10. BYU for its own 41. Three-man rush. Hill has a man and a juggling catch made. Again. Three out of four now in third down for Taysom Hill. The drive continues. Hill takes off running. Oh, boy. That's what the coaches don't want to see. He got popped. Tell him to run out of bounds, and he's just not going to do it, and we know that. And they also said they want to call design runs. That was a design run because he had a center 15 yards downfield. He's got to make the decision. That's hard to do, as you know, when you're competitive as he is, and you are. 
Algie Brown out of the backfield, wrapped up and out of bounds by Lynn. To prove not only myself wrong, but Todd wrong. Corner blitz, Hill saw it coming, flagged down. We would expect a holding call. Hill's in the end zone, and we await the verdict on the flag. 55 on the field, perhaps 56, the center. So it was, on, it was against the defensive player, number 55. And that's the call. It's going against the defense. Michael Cannon, the referee, set offense and pointed in the wrong direction. But it's going to happen to Taysom Hill because as he ran into the end zone, there really wasn't any indication that he was in distress. Yeah, initially, he took off and showed good burst right about the five. You can see that he kind of got a little gimp in his giddy-up right about the, there. I don't know. I well, mean, he ran fine. It was yeah. only when he started walking toward the bench that there was the sign of a limp. Even there, he's walking yeah. all right for a while. I hate to see that, and you know him running the football is such a big part of this offense, but it was a non-contact injury. That's just bad luck. Nate Gary up from his safety spot to wallop Nate Carter, and right on cue, Taysom Hill running without a hitch back on the Cougar sideline. Well, that's good to see right there. And Mangum has been very impressive in, in training camp, back from his two-year mission. And here comes Hill. After a nine-yard gain by Mangum. Well done by the freshman thrown in for the battle, Todd. I was just told by a BYU official. Putting up six. Uh, the pistol, the run fake. He gets away from the rush of Gangwish again, and a big hit delivered. Flag down on the play. Brian Samp caused the problem. The first penalty of the game against the Cougars. Hill fires, caught, and escaping is Devon Blackman. One of the fastest players on the Cougar team. He has a 21-yard gain. They needed 20 for the first down. Crowd screaming about an obvious hold, and the flag is thrown. Hill goes out of bounds at the 30. It's a veteran offensive line. They think it's going to be one of the best they've had in recent years at BYU. They gave Hill time, and he's on target to Nick Kurtz. Tomorrow. Second and eight. Game tied at 14. Blitz came and they complete the pass to Pearson. Upended by Dugan in their one-on-one -on -one underneath coverage. Hill to the end zone. Incomplete. Good coverage by they're hoping to catch. Ball's thrown high in the end zone. This is good discipline by Davey with that right arm. Not turning and grabbing, avoiding grabbing. Coming with the left arm and Malik Collins giving Taysom Hill a chance to prove his. Second and ten. Hill throws short to another of those tall targets. Taron Houck. They've Hill throws short for a six-yard completion to Mitchell. Algie Brown, the running back. Hill dumped it off to him. He got belted, managed to fall forward for a yard. They failed to convert in a similar situation a moment ago. Settled for a field goal, not this time. If you're playing man-to-man, -man, you must protect the inside, especially if there's no safety. You get back on your heels, you give up the inside. There's too much field to work with, and it's too easy for the mm. former roommates. They have it. They haven't really used it. Hill on third and nine, throws short of the first down. Nate Gary made those tall guys all bunched to the right. And they throw to the left, and it's dropped. Good call. End zone in his mind. Well, and they had a man beater on right here. Josh Banderas is missing. Life difficult for Taysom Hill, who operates from his own 41. Rose short. Caught by Devon Blackman. Swung down by of his ball. Under a bit of pressure. Throws. His pal Mitch Matthews open and a nice catch. BYU trying to take firm control of the game here in the opening minutes of the third quarter. And an interception by Nate Gary. Huge mistake by Hill. And now he's trying to take down Gary. And does with help from Algie Brown. Just didn't see, see Gary dropping into coverage. That's exactly right. He showed that he was coming and dropped. Or else he wouldn't have thrown that ball on, this, on the line that he did. I'm standing right behind him in the end zone. I could see where he was looking. He had the receiver down the field, but it was a throw he could not have made without that kind of zip. Had he seen the defender dropping into coverage, he would have just pulled it back down and probably take off running. Yeah, I'll tell you, a heck of an effort by Taysom Hill by saving a touchdown. And you see Williams push. 
Number 19, think certainly Valentine's underrated. Not out there right now. Hill trying to run away. He does. Takes off running. Gary trying to wrestle him down and does in Nebraska territory at the 43-yard line. 35-yard run for Taysom Hill. Well, as a former defender, this is killer. You play defense, you play hard, you're doing everything you have to do, but you don't maintain the integrity of your rush lanes. So he takes throwing lanes, turn them into running lanes, and he's so explosive. Coach Mendenhall told us he's the fastest player on their team. Under pressure. Lofts it down the field too high for Colby Pearson who looked like had the pressure. Well, Sean, this, this time they're maintaining their pass rush lane. See, there's no open areas to run because everybody's doing their job, not creating two guys in one. It's a 3-1 GPA. You need at least a 3-3. Working hard to get it up. Incomplete pass. Mitch Matthews open over the ultra-dangerous hill. Another chance. On third down, he finds Nick Kurtz, who's down short. The decision for Mike Riley. Out of the backfield. Huh? Hill in trouble and stopped well short of the first down. Jack Gangwish. Which the one thing you're going to get, number 95, you'll see him coming in. His great effort. He's going to spin back and be able to close and finish with everybody was covered downfield for the first time by the Cornhusker defense. Well, you saw the presence. We were talking about big number 98, Vincent Valentine. Mark Banker talking about he just moves the offensive. As the lead blocker. Quick pass. Micah Simon. Hill steps into the throw and threw a fastball. And Mitchell Jurgens positions. Number five right there in your screen walking on Jurgens and is able to close. But a lot of it was set up again by the pressure inside from Nebraska. Two defensive tackles forcing Taysom Hill to throw the ball a little high and a little. Hill. Sack back at the 21-yard line. BYU's ball second and 17 as we begin the fourth quarter. Cougars at their own 21. Taysom Hill deep ball up for grabs incomplete. For Mitch Matthews, on third and 17, Hill sidestep Malik Collins and takes off running and slides down way short of the first down. He knew he wasn't going to make it, so wise to avoid the hit. Pursued by Josh Manderas and this BYU offense sputtering in the second half. Pressure again from Malik Collins forcing Taysom to tuck and run. In a great decision by Taysom Hill. In the past, he might have tried to run somebody over to get first downs. Protect yourself because you owe that to your team.